Good morning, and thank you for being here with us on this very important day. I'm Aaron Carabell, a six-year cabinet member from Nashville. I'm Lindsay Glantz, and I'm a fifth-year cabinet member from Broward County, Florida. And we are your co-chairs of National Young Leadership Cabinet. We are honored to welcome you to the Cabinet Activation Against Anti-Semitism. We just heard some harrowing stories and personal experiences with anti-Semitism across North America. But in those stories, we also heard about Jewish pride, resilience, and determination. Before this event, we were all asked to share a photo of something that makes us proud to be Jewish. I shared this photo of my grandparents, Holocaust survivors. Their loss was extraordinary. But even despite that, they did not lose faith and they were not hardened by it. They were both filled with compassion an extraordinary kindness that guided my Jewish identity and led me to fight injustices. They have been a beacon of light whenever I am faced with adversity. And today, I am sharing with you my Lion of Judah pin that was with me over 5,000 miles away on the most recent Leadership Israel Solidarity Mission. This pin, <laughs> this pin represents strength and community. On this trip, I was with some of the most inspiring women leaders who are changing the world today. Their dedication is contagious, and I am a proud Lion of Judah. As Jewish leaders, I know that we as Hevra are committed to combating anti-Semitism and anti-Zionism. We know it is a fight that cannot be taken alone or with a singular purpose or response. It requires a symphony of strategies and responses that work together. We know that it is a fight that has no timeline or end date. It requires perpetual monitoring and activism. And we know that it is a fight that will force each of us to step outside our comfort zones so we can be seen and heard and stand united with one strong voice and vision. Our first and most important objective is security. Today, over half of North American Jews feel less safe than they did just five years ago. And there is ample reason for that. Anti-Semitic activity in North America has risen to higher levels than at any point in history. Federations have been the leaders in organizing our community security network. And through Federation's Live Secure initiative, we aim to increase security in all of our communities. And we are not going to stop until all of our communities are secure. We recognize that combating today's brand of anti-Semitism requires us to engage consistently and demands that we leverage new strategies across North American political ideologies. So to help us understand the current surge in anti-Jewish and anti-Israel activity, today we'll be hearing a range of insights from young people, government officials, and media. But before we continue, I wanna ask all of you to turn to the person right next to you and answer this question. Why did you come to DC today? Thank you. Your willingness to be open and compassionate with one another is part of what makes us Hevra. Now, turn to your Hevra on the other side of you and ask them to share a moment 
when they personally experienced anti-Semitism. Thank you. We, we are so proud to be here with you today. Cabinet has a legacy of meeting the moment. And as leaders of the Jewish community, we share the responsibility to uphold that legacy. Now more than ever, we must commit to rising up as leaders against anti-Semitism. And we promise that you will not leave here today unprepared. You will have gained the tools and the insight to one, call on the Biden administration to immediately appoint an ambassador at large to monitor and combat anti-Semitism, filling this vital position that Jewish federations helped establish. Two, advocate for doubling governmental funding for nonprofit security from $180 million to $360 million. Three, join the advocacy core on behalf of the North American Jewish community to deploy key policy issues now and in the future. You'll hear about that shortly. And finally, learn how to support students and youth confronting campus anti-Semitism and anti-Zionism. But the truth is, today is not just about what we accomplish. Today is about building a committed core of leaders. This is a commitment to stand up to this challenge, to protect our communities, to protect our children. We will leave this experience today ready and willing to respond and to lead. We must lead more committed to this work more responsible for the health and well-being of the Jewish community, this is cabinet. Every powerful movement starts with a small group of people. Today, right now, we are those people. We want to thank you all so much for being here. Thank you to the over 250 people across 49 communities who have committed to being here today. We stand here grateful and humbled to all of the past cabinet co-chairs who have led before us, so many of whom are, in, are here in this room. We're also so excited to have Carolyn Gitlin, our chair of National Women's Philanthropy, in the room with us today. Finally, thank you to Mark Wilt and Eric Fingerhut for your vision and for working so hard with your teams to make this event happen. Look at this place. Thank you.